creating a stop smoking plan. This is very, very important. I'm sure many of you, if you're watching this video, you've already tried to just throw out your cigarettes tonight. This is the last one I'm having. Or on my birthday, I won't be smoking anymore. New Year's Eve is the biggest favorite. That's it, my New Year's resolution is I'm not gonna be smoking anymore, New Year's Day on. But, which is all well and good, and for some of you that might work, but it's really important for you to write down, write down a plan. The plan should include four things. The first thing on your plan that you write down is your quit date, which should be one to two weeks out. I took a calendar and actually pointed with my eyes closed to the date that was gonna be my first non-smoking day. The second thing is a nic you should decide on using a nicotine replacement therapy or another medication. I chose the patch. The third thing is finding a support system and write down the people that you can use to support your quit. And being able to actually, they should be people that you actually can depend on to call. Usually people who have quit smoking already and know how difficult it is. The fourth thing is actions. Besides the ones that we talked about, such as getting your carpet shampoo, throwing out your ashtrays, uh, actions as far as joining a gym or starting to do some power walking or getting some real healthy snacks in your house. These are the actions I'm talking about. There could be a whole list of actions. So having a concrete plan is really important and then sticking to it.